Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel and today I will be reacting to episode 10 of How to Get Away with Murder and last, yes, like, I watched it yesterday for me, but last week's episode was massive as it concluded all our flash forwards and basically get answered some, most of our questions about things and delivered the biggest, one of the biggest plot twists in the history of the freaking show and that was that Wes, aka Kristoff, his emergency contact number was Dominic. And Frank just killed Dominic. So then there's that that answer is gone. That ability to answer that question is now gone. <sighs> Alright, enough. I'm ready. The next chapter of How to Get With Moon. Let's go. <laughs> oh, they're gonna It's gonna be like last season showing Wes's body in every episode. It's gonna be Laurel having the baby in the elevator. <laughs> Care of any foreseeable problems that could arise. Camel bags, cheddar. Oh, we extend our reach to every business and household across the globe. How about we stop with the bad daddy porn and maybe do a live show instead? Hey, <laughs> defender, the pioneers that bring access to information to every everything we did was for nothing. Person in the entire world. Are you still trying to protect his students? I was protecting you. How? If they arrested Asher, he might have cracked and told them what he knows about you. Oh. What does he know? That you framed Annalise for killing Wes. I didn't want any of that to blow back on your campaign. This is good. He's on the news bragging about how rich he is instead of taking care of the baby. We can use that for the custody hearing. What? Him in services says that your father's been visiting the baby every chance New York hospital will allow. Who's paying people to say that? My only concern is getting you out of here and back with your boy, but we have to play it perfectly. So you have to trust me to do my job. Can you do that? I need you to skip class and babysit the room. It's day five. She's supposed to get out. Well, the doctors aren't allowing it. Didn't you ask Isaac to do a second evaluation? He's not a friend, Michaela. Laurel needs a friend. That's you. Can I get that? Laura's waiting for you. Put it on silent, Frank. Jesus. Ever since we've won certification, every convict and their mother wants a piece of our sweet class. <laughs> we have no one. I thought we were fired. Well, I just hired you back. Be happy. Yay! Bye. They're all re. All the interns are back. The Keating Four is back in the Keating house. Damn, which is just another way of you saying we should do whatever you tell us. Oh my god. You all followed Laurel into a burning building without telling me, and look what happened. Now here I am picking up your mess. You really want to make me the object of your anger? You don't really know her. She has to show up. Here you are getting pulled into her mess even worse than any of us. Don't answer the phone, Frank. Are you gonna end up the next day by your money? Destroy it. We missed you in class today. Oh. I'm not ready to be victimized by these West flashbacks. Shit. We still got that god awful apartment. Stay with me. What are you talking about? I don't know. You can save money. Nate. The meeting you're making me late for is to get an update on Millstone. I'm a good guy. You should know that by now. <laughs> Nothing you see on there is going to make you feel better. But this case, helping people who are less fortunate, this is going to make you feel better. Trust me. You texted me. It was urgent. Oh, that was me, actually. I told you to watch her. I <laughs> 
Did you text your father tell me? No, I know how you can get me out. The Protection from Abuse Act. My mom's lawyer used it to argue psychological abuse and involuntary confinement. I already tried. What? I filed that exact petition yesterday and the judge denied it this morning. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't want you to get your hopes up. Why are you lying? What are you talking about? You didn't file that petition. I did too. You're lying. And don't deny it. I'm very familiar with what it feels like to be lied to by... We don't know why she had that baby early, Michaela. She would never hurt herself. You didn't see what I saw in that elevator. Honestly, I should have just let you pull the trigger that night. Oh! That's the one thing I can agree with Annalise on. Bonnie, are you serious? Come on, the guy's doing stuff. Hate me forever. Oh, he's doing reckless stuff already. Are you seriously gonna give him the gun to do some more? It's the fuzz. Tell Michaela I love her. <laughs> it's just me. Okay. I don't know. It's the muscles. I should feel much safer in your presence. <laughs> I got bad news. One of the partners at CNG told the detectives you roughed up Drake at a cocktail party. Oh, yeah. So I wouldn't hang my hopes on Daddy's reputation if I were you. I mean, it's a private conversation. Yeah, well, secrets are what always get us in trouble. And why'd you close the door on Oliver? Because he's a mess right now, and I don't want to add to his stress. About that, I'm a little worried about him. Okay. You two pixies talk feelings. I'm out. Huh. Please tell us how we fix this. Do nothing. That's how. Go to class. Do your homework. Actually, I dropped out. So Annalise put her whole class action in the hands of a dropout is what you're telling me. Where's Ollie? Oliver? Oh, for God's sake. Oh, no. Only family is allowed inside. His parents are in Pakistan. They can't get a visa to visit him. He's still in the closet. Oh. He wouldn't let me tell anyone. I think that's why he maybe tried to hurt himself. So, please... I miss him so much. We should tell Laurel about the voicemail. I said no. Come on. If Wes was talking to Dominic. Just off was talking to Dominic. Whatever. They clearly know each other and Laurel can help us figure out how. Oh. I asked you to do one thing. Get rid of the phone. There's a reason I kept it. You're going to get us killed. I download an app that tells you the location where the incoming call comes from. If it's New York, we know it's Jorge. Wait, this one's coming from Philly. Great. Now he's here to kill us. No, it's a different number than before. Look. Denver. Oh. oh, for fuck's sake. I'm sorry for firing you, and I'm sorry for making you feel alone. Oliver. Uh, unless you're a family, I'm gonna need you to leave. We're just picking up a friend. Just don't make me call security. It's time to go, Ollie. No. What we are to each other is so much more complicated than any stupid husband or wife or girlfriend i'm not in love with you annalise about me being crazy about why they think you went into early labor why i was thinking it could have been simon what when he grabbed your bag no! We can never know for sure, but it wasn't Simon. Yeah, she knows, right? How do you know? It was Frank. Okay. Oh she's... No. You don't know that. I felt it. It's the only reason you're here right now. No. We've always needed each other. That's what our entire relationship has been about, Bonnie. No. Our entire relationship is about an apology. You tore me apart on that stand, and you felt so badly about it that you made me your charity case. After Sinclair, what I did to her, I really didn't think I deserved to live. Or public, uh, sure. You really messed with your head. It's in you some dark places, but you... husband's blood all over my living room floor have kids who mess up my life calling me telling me someone got shot having babies in elevators 
Oh, I know that. Then why do you? I need not to feel so empty sometimes. I'm so sorry, Oliver. I'm so sorry to all of you. Laurel. Well, clearly this place is turning you into a mush cake, so we gotta get you out of here. Can't we, like, kidnap you or something? Any pointers from when your dad kidnapped you? She didn't do this to herself. None of us know that. I do. How? Frank accidentally hit her. Oh. He made her go into labor. It wasn't the party or the gun. It was stupid boys fighting. What did you just say? When you and Connor were fighting, she got in the middle and... Shit, Michaela. She made me promise not to say anything. But she... She had to tell because Annalise was not like avoiding getting her out because she thought they were crazy. Like, she, there's no one's really trust her with that being not crazy. She is so much stronger than any of us think. Damn straight. That's why I do the work that I do here because I am so screwed up. I know how to help other screwed up people. And you did that. You did. You helped me. Well, think of it with Stella. If she were alone in the hospital room, her child stolen from her and no doctor willing to help. Don't. Oof. Damn, using the daughter I again. Been there. This episode is gripping the intense emotions. Like, there's no, like, twists or plot thickeners action-packed episode. It's more of just like a slow, just like, gut-wrenching story progress up. That's why I keep wanting to get out of this field. We're taking care of any foreseeable problems that could arise. Someone here to see you. He almost died before he even took a breath. And I'm all he had to protect him. I couldn't even do that. Murder, of course, but we've done that. Not all of us. My point is, look where we are. We're eating pizza, not in jail. Because we had Annalise. Weird. His name. What is it? Oh. Nate's father? You told the DA's investigator you thought Simon was behind it all. You don't believe that. I know you don't. So why? Why do you say it? You're acting way more stupid than you are right now. Because whatever you and your friends did has put us all in danger. And the fact that you have come to talk to me about that here, oh. in a public place, tells me you have no idea how scared you should be. My whole life, I have had thoughts about hurting my father. But there is no hurting him. Tell me you found out, man. Useless to me as he was, huh? We have a bigger problem. Bonnie and Winterbottom. Oh, God. There's no reason for me to want to hurt myself or anyone else. I would never get custody of my son. He's the only thing that matters to me right now. I countered, pointing out that her hormone levels are already normal. She shows no homicidal or suicidal ideation and being that her baby was just taken away from her she's doing about as well as anyone could hope for the administrator agreed and granted laurel immediate release yes <sighs> god frank why do you still have Dominic's phone i forgot to toss it don't lie tell me why you still have his phone Ooh. play what Fuck, motherfucker, motherfucker, what? motherfucker, fucker, 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 fucker. It's Christoph. I'm in trouble. We all could be. Call me as soon as you get this. It's Christoph. Don't, don't, Laurel. Don't. No, Laurel, no. No, no. He doesn't know Dominic's dead, so don't answer. You're both wrong. Give me the phone. Don't be stupid. It's not my father. Who is it? Hi, Mom. Who?
let's go with that. I must say, it's about bloody time that Laurel's mum was introduced with all this other shit going on. I am excited for her introduction. I don't know whether she's coming in next episode or what, but I'm so freaking excited for that introduction because I feel like she'll, if she's been in contact with Dominic, she'll know about Kristoff and Wes and, oh, that's the link. That's the link I didn't see about finding out why Wes was in contact with Dominic. It's the mum. Mum's the, the missing link. Oh yeah, what a great episode. I definitely think it definitely took a step down in action-packedness from the previous two episodes. But then again, that's because of the flash-forwards and not... This is a progression of the story. This episode definitely set the bat, like the, the train tracks to follow for the rest of the season. And I'm really excited. It's literally going to be them against her father. And like, I don't know what side her mother's on to. We don't know that. But it's basically... Even Tegan being scared and saying don't contact me because you have no idea how much trouble you we are actually going to be in is really scary. So I'm really excited for that. And I feel like the finale is going to be this massive like, uh, like, oh, I'm so ready. I'm so ready for all of it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you click subscribe to my channel because I'm almost on 6,000 subscribers and I need you to subscribe if you are not already. Make sure you check out my social media because they're down below and just go follow everything because, you know, this face is amazing. And I think that's all I've got. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.